Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today I am in the grounds of Cliff Castle in Keefler, West Yorkshire and I'm going to show you Cliff Castle Museum, I'll show you around the grounds, I'm going to go into the fascinating history of it all for you and Cliff Castle was built by Henry Isaac Butterfield who was part of the Butterfield family who were highly successful in textile manufacturing and they had they owned various mills around the Keyflet area so I'm going to make this a really interesting video for you don't forget to like share and subscribe everyone and I hope you enjoy cheers take care Cliff Castle was originally known as Cliff Hall and it was built by Christopher Neverwood between 1828 and 1833 and designed by Mr George Webster of Kendall who was a Gothic revivalist. Henry Isaac Butterfield bought Cliff Hall in 1848 and he transformed it by adding towers, a ballroom, conservatories and added some um, lots of amazing features between 1875 and 1880. And he renamed it Cliff Castle in 1878. The Butterfield family's industrial legacy was started by Mr. John Butterfield, who was a wool stapler. And he used to regularly travel to the East Riding of Yorkshire and to Lincolnshire to purchase his wool. He used to buy it from the farmers in those districts and it was brought back in boats to the canal warehouse he owned in Stockbridge by Keefle. These stones which I'm showing now are weather sculptured moorland stones which are just by the entrance to the museum and I remember when I used to come here with my parents as a child I used to be mesmerized by these stones I thought they were amazing and I'm still fascinated by them now this is another of the park's amazing features it's a Victorian cast iron lamppost and it's very unique it's not something that you'd normally See every day. There's some fantastic Victorian rooms in the museum and lots of galleries and lots and lots of local history as well and loads to read and to look at and loads of unique objects so you can literally easily spend a couple of hours in the museum there's so much to see and yeah just these rooms here it just shows the sheer wealth and opulence that the mill owners had where they lived.
The Butterfield family owned three textile manufacturing mills. Prospect Mills in Keighley, Bridgehouse Mills in Haworth, which I'm showing now, and Lumfoot Mill in Stanbury. So they really did have a massive textile empire. In 1949, the building and grounds were bought by Keefley Corporation with the assistance of Sir Bracewell Smith, who in 1955 paid for the conversion of the house for public use. The Heritage Museum and the grounds, the park, are hugely popular and loads of people come and visit it every week so thanks for watching this video i've really enjoyed presenting it for you and i'll see you on the next one cheers everyone